really quiet, please? Do you know me? No. I am Sheriff Street. I am looking for Jamie Harris. You all know Jamie Harris. Yeah. Most of these folks was anti law enforcement. It will go best for everyone if he will turn himself in. Miss, you'll need to come with me. What's going on? Uh, don't worry about it, sir. It doesn't concern you. Stay yeah. out of it. What's going on? Hey, Chris. There's been a homicide. That bounty hunter Saul. Yeah, he's dead. Let me down! I'm not ready! I'm not ready to die! No. Time, my no. Come on! I'm Come on! I'm not ready to no, die! It's time! No, we no. all have our time! Wait a minute, wait! I Sorry, I, I couldn't resist. For decades, MR6 has worked to ensure the constant supply of Marmite. We Brits are known as a patient people, but when deprived of Marmite, we become savages. We thought the great Marmageddon was an isolated incident. But recently, we've detected a pattern of enemy activity. The Marmite crash on the M01. 20 tons of Marmite gone to waste. Marmite banned in Denmark. Riots in the street, earthquakes at the Marmite factory, online black markets. Agent, this could be the end of Marmite as we know it. There is a traitor in our own ranks. Find him. G'day everyone. Today we're going to be looking at one of the world's worst culprits of clutter. Messy cables. They come in all shapes and sizes, and can be found just about anywhere in the planet. Come on, let's go. Get a load of this. That's a real rat's nest down there. Luckily for me, I brought along my cable buddy. Come on, let's give her a go. Your name is Carl Wormwood, is it not? No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It, it says so right here. Would you like to read it for yourself? I don't want to read it. You read it. It also says that you're Vice President of Sales for Cisco. No, I'm not. Who told you I was? I also have a document here that suggests that Cisco provided inaccurate data in a side-by-side -side comparison with Aruba Networks. That's, that's funny that you would say that. Hi, I'm Brian Johnston. Elsewhere on this program, you've heard some excellent facts, some wonderful reasons why legalizing assisted suicide is a bad idea. However, when it comes to this debate, your involvement in this debate will likely not be on a talking head program or making a presentation before a body of people. In fact, it will likely take place at your own kitchen table. This is the Kilns. C.S. Lewis lived here with his brother Warren for many years. You know, the modern pilgrim finds the best deal on the web. The pilgrimage allows us to reach across time, to touch truths that transcend time. 